that you are able to freely move and do what you want to do. Nothing is impossible in that space. Amen. God can do anything. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And because of all you've given us, we're celebrating your freedom. <laughs> the freedom that we have in you, Lord. We love you. Thank you, Lord.
that we could welcome you and the service attendants have what we call a connect card it's, and it's just a little something that we would like to know about you and if you've joined us online we're so glad and, and thankful that you're with us um, and we want you to enjoy us again and again amen also they have our bible reading sheets don't forget that we like to read our bible and i love this topic inventory you know Sometimes you have to walk inside your closet and figure out what's there. Amen? And sometimes there's things in there you need to get rid of. <laughs> so inventory. Amen? Amen. And read your Bible. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Also, too, don't forget, you can uh, be on our e-blast, and that really is a good way that we try to send out and let everybody know what's coming, anticipation, let them know what the big picture is because, you know, announcements, they just kind of give us a sneak peek. But if you want to know, just go on our website or be on our e-blast. Amen? Amen. All right. So our summer outreach, wow, this is really packed. It's, it's strategic. We are reaching out to those that may not know we're here, wondering what is on the hill. Whenever I go somewhere, I go, just down the street from you, where? Well, just right up on the hill. Oh, 
you go there? Yes, that's, yeah, you ought to come visit us sometime. So it's amazing how people drive past us, but they're wondering, what is that big building? So we're hopefully, with what we're doing in June, it's going to open up some doors, open up some hearts, and when they get on the property, look out, love is going to be extended. Amen? And pour it on them. So our service attendants have these neat cards. I love these cards. It's called Family Community Day, June 29th. I'm starting with that one because, as Pastor Sheree mentioned this morning, uh, we would like to ask your help. So you go places, gas stations, gym, grocery store, and people that you just see downtown. You know, it's a good, hey, want to invite you. No, you know, and you don't, just give it to them. Amen? It's free, and I mean, everybody's always looking in the summertime for something to do with their family and their kids, and that's going to be a great day. So what date is it? June 29th, right? So um, also, as a member, we would love to have your help because it's going to take all of us just loving on people. Amen? And we can love on each other, too. <laughs> Amen? All right, now let's back up the date a little bit. June 22nd, we're going to have a neighborhood blitz. So these cards, we have a team that's going to be handing them out. But you can also help us in other areas that we may not get to go to because you're going. Amen? Make sense? Okay? So on the 24th through the 28th, we're going to rebuild FLM. There are The project list is being made, and we're going to list some things that we're going to spruce up our own house with, and it's going to be bright and beautiful, even better than it's more beautiful now. Amen? All right, June 29th, again, we've said that, the community day. June 22nd, we're going to do a beautification project at Longdale Elementary. They have been so blessed by our efforts at LoveWorks, so now we get a chance to go and uh, beautify their uh, building and areas and uh, parking lots and just all sorts of things. Amen? Finish Line Summer Camp has started, and the kids are having a blast already. Um, information, you can go online at fakelandmarks.org and sign up for that and also get information. VBS, also we have a card for that as well. It's called the invite card. So, and it also has finish camp on, finish line camp on one side and VBS on the other side. And that is something we also want to get your help with where you're going, you know, again, you have neighbors that have kids because you've probably been hearing them since they're out <laughs> so we want to give them something to do at least that week amen? amen amen so all right amen okay all right young adults ministry is going to have a friday on june the 21st at 6 30 laser tag so they if you please go online and register so that they know you're coming and then afterwards they're going to have dessert with ice cream now, ladies, mark your calendars. I'm sure everybody in this room, because y'all always come on Sunday nights, so, so you already know about the, the ladies' fellowship. But this is going to be the Christmas trip, and the date is December the 5th and the 6th. Be sure you, I know, I know, it's just June, but you know how things get loaded, right? And once the bus is loaded, it's loaded. Bike past three, we have no more seats on the bus. Make sure you don't miss your seat, okay? So register, go online and register for December the 5th and the 6th where they're going to go see Daniel at the Sight and Sound. And if you haven't been, you should go. It's wonderful. And they'll be, have some other things, dinner and an Amish tour and other things. Amen? June 23rd, we're going to have Daryl Huffman here for the Sunday to minister to us at all three services. That is going to be a power-packed day. Be sure you open your hearts and get ready for that and don't miss it. And then water baptism is service will be on Sunday, June the 30th. We had to rearrange the schedule a little bit with the elevator, but it's back on target and we're ready to roll. Amen? Amen. And then, I'm really excited about this. It was so good. I got to watch my first Time Out with PC podcast, and it was phenomenal. And, and uh, we're just, you know, we're going to be praying for you, Pastor Shree, that, Pat, that the Holy Ghost will give you these unique Time Out topics 
because sometimes we just need to be tapped on the shoulder. And if you haven't seen the first one, you were to go and look at it. It is great. And it really, it's an aha moment. At least it was for me. Could be for you. Amen? All right. Enjoy the service. That's all I have, Pastor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Katie. Glory to God. God is good. Okay, so I'm going to ask you if you would please stand to your feet again. Hallelujah. And uh, Pastor Cherie's uh, podcast is aired. Glory to God. Yeah, go ahead and bless the Lord if you would please. Just That's right. Just bless him. That's right. Lord Jesus, we bless you. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your name is above every name. Glory to God. Okay. Praise the Lord. So uh, I'm going to send you on another campaign. This time I'm going to ask you to find three people uh, that you haven't greeted yet. You might have to go the opposite direction. Tell them it's a great thing you're here tonight and then have a seat. Hallelujah. Wow, the season of graduations. Is, is it over? Have we've had them all? Okay. Praise the Lord. God is good. Okay, so uh, we're uh, not graduating out of the kingdom, though. Glory to God. So we're, we're going to stop for a moment and make sure that every person in the room who uh, wants to have, would like to have one of these offering envelopes uh, for your offering. Praise the Lord. Just lift your hand high in the air, hold it there, and we'll be glad to put one of these in your hand. Glory to God. It is great to be here tonight. Hallelujah. I want to read you a, a, a passage, it's, and I'll actually just quote it to you. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. It says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, heaven, for our sakes he became poor, earth, and, and then the cross, and then he paid the price for us in hell, that through his poverty we might be made rich. So uh, like we said this morning, that's a substitutionary sacrifice. He, he switched places with us. And so it's, it's now, we're going to be talking about another element of the covenant that is a part of the covenant. You don't even have to ask for it. It's already provided. It belongs to you by birthright. It's part of your inheritance. Hallelujah. So uh, we've been delivered from poverty, and that's part of your inheritance. You ought to go ahead and say, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Okay. So you might still be working on your offering, but if you would, I'm going to ask you whatever form it's in, just uh, stand to your feet, hold it up before God, and say this with me, Heavenly Father, with joy and expectation, I bring my tithes and offerings into the storehouse. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for pouring out abundance into my life. I hear your word, believe it, and act on it. Thank you, Jesus, for setting me free from the power of darkness. I am delivered. Thank you, Father, for, pour, for pouring out abundance into my life. I'm acting on your word by faith. In Jesus' name, amen.